Hi, my name is Kathy Fosno and this is Cat's Creative Corner. Welcome to Tuesday's card. This is the card we're going to be making today. Hope that's not too much of a glare on the picture. We made this card on my Saturday uh, workshop slash class and everybody seemed to enjoy it. I think it's adorable. I hope you enjoy it too. You're going to need a piece of five Whisper White at five and a half by 11 and scored at four and a quarter. Then you're going to need a piece of Wild Wasabi cut at five and a quarter by four and a piece of Designer Series paper cut at five by three and a quarter. And the Designer Series paper is a two-sided paper pack and it has all kinds of different designs that you can use for most of it looks kind of outdoorsy that since it's called serene scenery that you'd probably figure that out so we're going to be using that we're also going to be using the scarecrow from the cookie cutter halloween set now this scarecrow goes with the um or all of the images on that the the little people images that are like that they come they they coordinate with this uh, cookie cutter punch and the cookie cutter punch comes in a bundle you can buy it separately but you can also get it in a bundle and if you buy the bundle you save 10 percent and this has the christmas scenes the santa the little little teddy bear it's got the ears over here gingerbread eskimo and a little reindeer and all you have to do is turn the punch upside down to cut out the reindeer we're also going to be using the Best Bird stamp set for the It's a Good Day saying. Okay, so I've already stamped the snow, the scarecrow here, and I'm going to just color them a little. I don't want to color them, I just want to color them really fast. I'm just going to do the straw in a, let's see, I'm using crumb cake for the straw. And you can use whatever colors you like. I personally wanted to do um, fall colors and kind of match this designer series paper that I'm using. I'm going to color his jacket and I'm going to use, these are the Stampin' Write markers and they have double sides, which I think you probably all know this. I probably already told you all. You just have the brush side. I got It's hard for me to talk and think and, and work at the same time. You can tell. Okay, you, it has a brush side and a pencil side. I'm using the pencil side on most of this, I, and the brush side on the bigger areas. I'm going to use Blushing Bride, no, Pink Pirouette to do his face. And I used archival black ink. If you saw my tip on um, Thursday, no, I think it's this coming Thursday, I'm gonna do a tip on which black inks you use. I'm using archival black ink right now. Just gonna do his little nose. And then I forgot his hat. So we'll do his hat kind of in multicolors. I mean, he's a scarecrow. He doesn't have to look absolutely perfect does he because it's isn't a scarecrow made from straw and old clothes it's supposed to scare off the crows scarecrow makes sense yeah we did this on our class the other day and it was so much fun okay now i've got him colored i want to do one spot right here Okay, now he's colored, so I'm going to take my cookie punch, and when you do your punches, I find it easier to do them upside down, and I just put them in, and you want to get them the best po possible point that you can. And yeah, it's kind of hard to get them and not punch out all the other objects in the thing, but that's okay. You can just save those for another time. 
All right, now I'm going to put them together. I'm going to add my wild wasabi. I'm going to use fast foods because I just ran out of my snail adhesive. Normally I wouldn't use fast fuse on this. When you use fast fuse, don't forget to click it off to the side one direction and the next time you use it, flick it to the other side and that way it won't get tangled and give you difficulties. Okay. Oopsie, I forgot. It's hard to get into the habit. Okay, so I'm going to put that wheat growing towards the top. <laughs> Sometimes things stick that you don't want to stick to your paper. Okay, now I have a little piece of soft suede, just a little piece of uh, soft suede that I cut very thin. And I'm going to attach that to the back of my scarecrow. And then I'm going to use stamping dimensionals to attach him to, let's see, I want to attach him to the uh, back of the, I want to put the stamping dimensionals like this so that they can go to the back of the card and stand up just a little bit. And I'm using end pieces so I'm having to tear. Normally you wouldn't have to do all that tearing and stuff. So don't ever throw it away. Always use the little end pieces too. Okay, I'm going to take off the paper that's on the back of the dimensionals. And I'm going to stick them. I think I want them a little shorter yet. So I'm going to just tear off a little bit more. And you can cut it with scissors if you prefer a more refined line, but I don't think it matters. I'm just happy to put them on. Okay, now I'm going to take my archival black and I'm going to take my raven and I'm going to put him on top of a piece of wheat. Isn't that cute? And then I want it to say it's a good day, so we're going to stamp that. And we're going to stamp that at the top here. And that's all there is to this little card. It goes quick and easy. Designer Series Paper really does help you with your efforts when you're wanting to make a fast card. So thank you for stopping by. I hope you liked this card. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. You can go over to my website at catscreativecorner.com and find all the written instructions for this as well as a shop button to purchase any of the items that you saw in this video. Thanks for coming by.